Hi, the first section in this program is PowerPoint Setup Mastery. This is the section where you understand the inner workings of PowerPoint as a software. The things you can do with PowerPoint, the tools that allow you to do them and how to use the tools the right way to create professional presentations etc. are all taught here. By the way, the effect you see here is created entirely using PowerPoint. There are two things about PowerPoint that makes this section necessary. First, PowerPoint is a highly sophisticated software. There are things you can do with PowerPoint like this, which you can't do so easily with even the most high-end graphic software like Photoshop or Illustrator. But unfortunately, most of those remarkable capabilities of PowerPoint are hidden under layers of menus. Yes, there are these menus in the tabs, and then there are these drop-down menus and then you have fly-out menus and you have floating dialog boxes and as if that is not enough, you have backstage menus and there are sub-menus in the backstage. In fact, there are so many menus that it is almost impossible for a regular user of PowerPoint to take advantage of all those powerful capabilities of the software. That is why you see such a wide disparity in the kind of slide decks created using PowerPoint. Those who know how to leverage the tools in PowerPoint make incredible presentations that get business results consistently. Whereas the vast majority that lacks the awareness creates presentations that look cliched, boring and forgettable. If you want your slides to look professional, you need to have a strong foundation on the basics of PowerPoint. You need to learn the tools the right way, for the right task and in the right combination so you avoid wasted time and frustration. Let me show you how PowerPoint wastes your time. One of the unique things about PowerPoint is it allows you to perform any task in multiple ways. Unfortunately, only one of them is the efficient way and the others rob your time and cause you frustration. Unfortunately, the inefficient ways seem easy and obvious, whereas the efficient way is usually hidden under some drop-down menus and sub-menus which only the pro users are aware of. For example, let us say you want to add page numbers to your slides to make your slide deck look professional. Let us take this sample slide deck with four slides to add page numbers. Now what is the most obvious and easy way to add slide numbers? It's very simple. You pick up the text box, add a number and then tuck it in the corner of the slide, isn't it? It's a very, very simple and obvious way to do it. If you're really smart, you will select that text box, press Ctrl C to copy and then press Ctrl V to paste and then you change the number. You repeat the process for the rest of the slides and it becomes very easy for you to finish numbering all your slides. Now this is a very smart way to do if all you have is only four slides. Now imagine this scenario. You want to add a new slide between slide 2 and slide 3 and let us call it slide 2a. So I'm going to add a new slide and I'm going to call it slide 2a. Now as you can see here there is no slide number added. Naturally this is the third slide and the next one is the fourth slide and all your numbering sequence has gone for a toss. So as you can see the easy and obvious way to add slide numbers to your slide deck is totally wrong. Now let us take another slide deck and try to insert the slide numbers the right way. First you go to insert, then you go to slide number and then a floating dialog box appears and here you tick here in slide number and then you carefully remember to add this apply to all and then you will have the numbers added to your slides. Now as you can see all the numbers are accurate. Now the best part about this is, even if I insert a new slide and call it say slide 2a like the way that I did earlier, you have the slide numbers automatically adjusted. Now this particular method is scalable and is the most efficient way. Now think about this, the right option is hidden under another tab as one of the options in a floating dialog box where you should know how to select these two options for you to do it correctly. Whereas the wrong option is available right in the home tab in front of you staring in the face so you can just pick and stick and you end up wasting a whole bunch of time in the long run. PowerPoint as a software is full of such peculiarities. When you know the efficient way, you can create your slide deck in a matter of minutes. 
But if you go by the easy and obvious ways, you will waste hours sitting in front of the computer and yet produce poor results. If you need to avoid frustration and save time, you should know those efficient ways like the back of your hand. The first section of this training program will help you lay a strong foundation for your PowerPoint basics. This section has three main topics. They are PowerPoint 101, which has around 27 video lessons. Then Secrets to Setting Up Your PowerPoint Right, which has 11 lessons. And Organize, Protect and Share Your Slides Like a Pro, which has 25 video lessons. Let us explore some key highlights of each of the topics quickly. Let us explore the first topic called PowerPoint 101, which helps you learn the essentials of PowerPoint the right way. This topic has four sub-segments. They are getting to know PowerPoint, working with slides, inserting content elements, and working with those elements on a slide. The lessons under each of these subtopics are like this. You can always pause this video and go through the content. The first set of lessons under getting to know PowerPoint are listed here. I especially wish to draw your attention to two of the lessons. One is quick overview of PowerPoint screen and the second one is terms used in PowerPoint ribbon. I've seen that whenever someone looks at PowerPoint for the first time, they get overwhelmed by the number of tools and tabs available in the software. These two lessons help you avoid that overwhelm. These lessons give you a quick overview of all that is there on the PowerPoint screen and also the terms that are commonly used while explaining those various tools and tabs in PowerPoint. These two videos will help you feel at home with PowerPoint. In the next set of lessons, you will learn how to work with slides. You will learn all the basics like how to insert a new slide, how to copy slides, how to rearrange those slides, etc. By the time you are through with this segment, you will know how to create a basic title and content slide and spruce it up with a design theme. Then it is time to go beyond just bulleted text to insert other useful content elements like smart art, lines and shapes, pictures, screenshot, text box, tables and charts. Once you learn how to insert these content elements on your slide, you will learn how to work with those elements on a slide in a professional way. These 27 lessons organized as four sets of videos will quickly get you on par with most business presenters in terms of the essential working knowledge of PowerPoint. In fact, 90% of the courses and workshops on PowerPoint stop here and leave it up to you to learn the rest. Whereas we consider this as our starting point. From here, we hold you by the hand and teach you things you should ideally be learning to master PowerPoint and create presentations you can be proud of. For example, in the next topic under this section, I'll show you the secrets to setting up your PowerPoint right so you can save time and avoid frustration. I'll show you a number of one-time setup tricks which take just a few seconds to implement but save you hours over the rest of your career till you use PowerPoint. To give you a sample, take a look at the bar at the bottom of my screen. I have pinned the three programs that I use frequently, like PowerPoint, Word and Excel. I no longer need to go to the Start option, search for PowerPoint and click on it to open the program. I just point my cursor to this icon here and double click on it to open PowerPoint. Simple, isn't it? In these set of lessons, I'll teach you a number of such one-time setup tricks that will save you time and avoid frustration in the long run. In the next set of videos, I'll show you how to organize, protect and share your slides like a pro. There are six mini courses around this topic. The first mini course teaches you how to organize your slides like a pro. I've seen business presenters struggle to manage large presentations or presentations where different segments need to be delivered by different presenters. I have a video that shows you how to organize your large presentations into neat little sections that flow nicely. For example, take a look at the presentation that you're watching right now. It is not organized as one massive slide deck. It is neatly organized into the small subsections which all flow beautifully. And it is this organization that makes it easy for me to understand how the various parts of this presentation flow seamlessly. 
This section of how to organize your presentation into sections will help you avoid time and frustration while ensuring that your slides flow smoothly. Another common issue that business presenters face is time crunch. Imagine this, you walk into the boardroom to make an elaborate presentation to your key client. But just before you start, your client says that he has an urgent meeting to attend and asks you to make your presentation in half the time. What do you do in such a situation? I have seen this happen too many times and every time the presenter either tries to rush things up and hence lose his audience or he skips key slides making the presentation ineffective. When you know how to create custom slideshows, you would be able to create a quick version and an elaborate version. So when you are faced with a time crunch, you would be able to deliver your quick version to cover all the key points in the best possible way. Another dilemma that business presenters face is they want to keep their slide deck small but they want to have a slide ready for every question their audience may ask. I have a video that shows you how to link a presentation inside a presentation. With this, when you present your points on a slideshow, you can click on the text and go directly to another presentation in the slideshow mode and answer the audience queries and come back to your original slide in the slideshow mode, your audience would have no clue that you jumped presentations right in front of their eyes. You will have well prepared answers for every question your audience may have, yet your main slide deck would look small and manageable. Now can you see the kind of things that I teach compared to the things that you learn in the traditional courses? In another mini course, I teach you three critical things you need to do to save and kit your presentation for future use. This allows you to access your old presentations in a systematic way thereby saving tons of time. In another mini course, I show you four ways to protect your sensitive presentations. Most people know how to present their slide deck with a password. This method is ideal to prevent unauthorized people from watching your slide deck, but it doesn't prevent the issue of your audience tampering with the information on your slides. Here I show you three more ways to protect your presentation that addresses different situations. You no longer need to worry about your slides getting tampered by your audience. In another mini course, I show you the right way to share your presentations. Most business presenters have the habit of emailing their slides to those who couldn't attend their presentation. This is a very ineffective way to share your information. If you have created your presentation for a live audience, your slides would make no sense without your narration for each slide. Sharing such slides by mail won't help anyone to get your point across. On the other hand, if you have created your slide deck keeping the absentees in mind, your slide deck would be full of text and would drive your live audience crazy. So they walk away from your presentation bored to tears. The right way to share your presentation would be in a PDF format which has the image of a slide and the relevant notes right next to the slide. Thus anyone can instantly understand your slides and get your message clearly. In these set of videos, I'll show you how to share your slide deck the right way so you get your message across clearly and completely irrespective of whether they have PowerPoint installed in their computer or not or whether they have the latest version of PowerPoint installed or not. In another mini course, I teach you how to print your slides the right way. Do you know that the default setting of PowerPoint doesn't allow you to print your slides like the way you see them during the slideshow? For example, when you have a graphic with shadow on your slide, you will lose that shadow when you print your slides. Take a look at this. This is the slide that you see on the slideshow, whereas when you go for the print preview, this is what you see without shadows. I have a video that shows you a simple tweak you can do in print settings that will allow you to print your slides exactly as you see on the slideshow. There are other tricks that I share to print your slides in a smart way to serve as handouts, as reference materials, etc. So you not only get what you want, but also will save some precious ink in your printers. As you can see, we go way beyond where the traditional courses and workshops stop. So you get results with our program. Since I worked in the corporate world for many years in various positions, I understand the issues you face as a presenter. I have addressed every one of those issues in a practical step-by-step -step way in this program. Since I have trained presenters across industries as a consultant, I understand the common mistakes they make while creating their slides. 
That is why I plan the lessons in a systematic way to instill the right habits and avoid the common pitfalls while creating professional slide presentations. By the time you finish this program, you will move from a newbie to a comfortable user of PowerPoint. I hope I've given you a fair idea about the kind of depth we go into this first section called PowerPoint Setup Mastery. I'll see you in the next video which details the content of the next section. You can watch that video by scrolling down this webpage.